It's a very special night here at Sunnyside Pavilion as the Friends of the High Park Zoo celebrate the successful fundraising campaign that has kept the gates to the Toronto landmark open after the city decided to cut its funding and this evening's gala and silent auction will be their first step towards raising the money needed to keep the park open for 2013. What are the animals called? Llamas! <laughs> Llamas We would like to raise about $20,000 if we can. Every year we need around $227,000. We have paid the city for this year. We now have got some funds for next year. But we're looking to put it into our bank so that we know the zoo will be running for another 119 years, hopefully. There are very, very few places, especially in a city that's going more and more high-rise where you can actually touch a little bit of nature. And I think when it's time to set priorities, even those tough guy cost cutters should think twice before they kill the zoo. In any case, I'm proud to say that the community is rallying. We're part of that support and the zoo will stay open. It's a real testament to the type of community we have when we can get together and raise the funds that we want to keep what we want alive. So. Can you do an animal noise for us? Uh. <laughs> ribbit, 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 ribbit. The peacock goes, car, car. Are you sure car. that's not a crow? No, it's a peacock. It's a, have you heard Moses Nimer's peacock call? No, but I'd love to. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to help support the zoo, you can make a donation by visiting highparkzoo.ca. At Toronto's Sunnyside Pavilion, I'm Darren Maharaj for Zoomer News.